I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Holes Podcast. I'm host Ed McGowan here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Ricardo. What's up, dude? <laughs> I don't even know what I just did. I'm fucking saying the Leave intro. Leave it. Don't even edit oh, that. Oh, I'm not editing that out. I'm fucking done editing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is just, we're just laying down 45 minutes and it's getting put out to air. That's that's what's happening you here today. You walked in the mood, man. Oh, bro, I'm just fucking raw you today. just go ahead and go in? Just go ahead and go in. You Dude, here's the thing. Like, I don't know if this, is this a working class whole thing or is this just like me thing? But like a project? It one and the same. But like a project, like I, I don't like a project. I don't okay, like. Okay, hold on. Like project. a pro, like a well, house project. Oh, okay. Like a little project, like a honeydew a- list, if you will. Like I know Texans, like I. I, I don't know what that like, means. Honey dudes, like honey do this, honey do that. Oh, you know, like you have a litany of things that you're. Someone has given you to do around the house. Yeah, I guess that's. I mean, here's the thing: it's like is this, that the pro, kind of project? It's you're a little about? bit like that, but it's a project in like. I'm trying not to have, you know, my wife's convinced that, like, we need to bring in someone to tell us how to organize the, uh, the closet space. And I'm just like... I can do that for you. But for free. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of did it today just while she was at work. I was just <laughs> like... Mean, you know what I mean? Like, she I, wanted to hire somebody, like, farm it out? Yeah. I, I'm like, well... Uh, Does she know she married, he's married, she's married to... It's just like I mean, listen. I'll pay for it, but it's like you know, first thing you, you gotta get you gotta get all this junk out of the it's, way first. It, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like look you don't within bring, first. Yeah, you don't bring somebody in to like. Uh, well, you know, if you I don't threw- want Gina to punch me in the face the time she sees me, so I'm like, <laughs> you know, I had like fifty things. No, I'm, we had this, I'm like, not my we, wife. We had this whole conversation. No, I was like, listen, before we bring somebody in. <clears throat> Let's just get rid of some of this stuff, and then like we'll have like oh these are options we have yeah. as opposed to like somebody bring just, in the rough cut if ex- you will exactly exactly yes. exactly so that was like my project for uh, yesterday and today of just you guys don't have a huge place how long did that no. take you do you just have just chock full of shit oh well dude it's the shuffle it's the like I got to move everything out into another room and then move it back and it's the the yeah. Tetris of it all yeah that is like the I want to swallow a fucking shotgun dude yes, I, <laughs> yes. I'm like dude I got to get out of this apartment nuts <laughs> nuts dude I was ready to throw and then so I said so you don't get um you don't have a feeling of accomplishment or relief from organizing Bro, I do. It's yeah, because you know crazy. what, and that's and that's what I was like. Oh, I'll have this, and then I was like, I feel like I just wasted two days. So it's gonna be ruined in two days. No, I I, I get I just like. Oh, what you did don't I get do? off on it. I didn't really get no. Oh. I don't get the. Listen, clean. I could get I, the amount of satisfaction I got today. I get from like emptying the dishwasher. Oh, so it doesn't grow. No. With the bigger the project, no. it doesn't grow. No, it was like the same thing as like folding oh, I, that's uh, nice. a load of laundry. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like something that takes me 15 minutes to do. Uh, same feeling as the, the exact two days. Two days worth of fucking, uh, sh- yeah. Yeah. See, I'm like a... But you like a project. I do, but I also have a, a somewhat cooperative entity. Like my wife keeps a lot of shit, but... Because I've managed to show her how great the place could look if we balance out what we bring in and what we mm-hmm. remove, mm-hmm. she is now on my side with get her, getting rid of most things, not all things. Like I'm a guy that like looks at, like for my son's toys, like for Levon's mm-hmm. toys. Mm-hmm. I'll every every month I'll I take all his toys out of his fucking bin and then I see which ones he picks, and I look through all of the toys. And I make I have to make a pile and get her approval of which ones I can throw out or give away, because she is she doesn't want to throw away stuff for him. But I know mm-hmm. if we just let all these toys gather, mm-hmm. dude, it's a wrap. So yeah, it's see, like, I don't do any of that. There's I'm no, a maintenance guy. I like every day I'm see, doing I don't something do, to keep I the, do zero keep the shit. Yeah, I do zero maintenance. I just don't bring anything into the apartment. You know what I mean? Well, like that's, that's also another way to go. I mean, I agree. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my thing. Is like I don't like you're talking about. Like we we've talked about this before in the pod. Yeah. Like I don't buy things because I don't want to have to do maintenance on it. Like the same reason I don't take pictures. <laughs> 
I don't have to go through and delete them off my phone. Like it's just, I don't, I'd rather not, I'd rather not. I'd rather not have to do any of that. There's no, we live in an era where everyone's filming literally every minute of their lives and there's no pictures of Ed to be found. He's going to be the only guy where like, we just have these, 2,000 years from now, we have these random digital files of this guy with a concussion thing on his head. That's it. That's well, he doesn't only, exist anywhere it. else. Yeah, that's it. And I got about 12 of those pictures. <laughs> I saved the whole photo shoot. <laughs> Oh, dude, I love, I don't, that's why I don't have. That's why I don't take pictures. I don't. I, keep yeah, mementos. I don't know. I don't need to, it's the cleaning up. It's just I'd rather not have to clean up yeah. or like. Organize. So that really that made you that upset? But you know that's that's one of the projects that really got you snooing, or is there? An no, work? no, no. no. It, it, it's only. It's not even. Uh, the. It's the. It's the fact that it was that I had to do a project. Is like mm. I, the whole drive over here. I was just like. I'm not a project guy. Yeah. I don't like pro. Some guys are like, "Ooh, I got a little, got no, a little I don't like project." Projects. No, I don't like doing that. I don't no. like. I don't like doing anything. Like the thought of like buying like building a car, like, uh, like an old restoring car. a car. Old car. Oh, no, dude, no, thank you. No, 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 no. I don't get that. I mean, I'll tell you right now what I'm into, and I did it already. It was I was in Michigan, fine, fine state, by the way, outside of Detroit. And I got put up in this comfort inn, you know, kind of low lifey, like we like it, like yeah, working class old style, you uh -huh. know, a typical hotel, <laughs> yeah, clean. Yeah. I like how you like how, like we like it. We, yeah, we don't well, really yeah. like it. <laughs> I gotta convince my brain that uh, you know, <laughs> this like, is where I'm at. I'm like, I'm like, living in shit, you love shit, like, right? That's what I like, yeah, I guess, I guess if you like so it, yeah. you know, but it's our kind of style, you know, clean yeah. room, crackhead on the end of the uh, lives oh. there, like a like a nice crackhead. Oh, is your guy living there? There was definitely. It's what's so great about these hotels because I, I was th thinking of you when I walked in because I get in there and I I get to my room and there's this guy who, you know, that smoker face. Yeah. Where you're just like, oh, and you and you're gaunt. Oh, yeah. And then yeah, he yeah. goes, whoa, and he's outside of his room. So I I don't know why he's taking a phone call outside of his room in the hallway. <laughs> all right. But I figure out why later on. So he's, t he's outside and he all I hear him go is. Yeah, you know that's that 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 yeah, why well, I have HIV. That's what I, all I hear, and then I go in the room. It's just he has HIV, Ooh. and he's two doors down from me. Now it's not the '80s, so I, you know whatever, no big deal. Yeah. That's his deal. Sure. And then I get dressed to go to the show. I come out of the room, and there's this woman. You know how there's always a woman in their pajamas in these hotels we're in, yeah, just yeah. openly at like 5 p.m. walking around in their <laughs> full blown pajamas. Yep. So this woman's in her pajamas. Now she's on the phone. She comes out of the same room. So I'm like, okay, so whatever he's doing, he didn't want her to hear. And as she comes out, she's like, you got to bring me my ID. I'm in this room with this weirdo, and I don't have anywhere to go. You got to bring me my ID. So I'm trying to piece together. This is all I can think about on the ride. Today. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah. how are these two together, and what's the scenario that at two different points in this day, I've heard both of them talk about shit they didn't want the other one to hear about. So I, I'm just assuming she's probably a woman of the night. Uh, or so, something because why are you in that room because it reminds me of some of your stories where you would where crackheads or drug people end up in a room together without many of them knowing why with the right, exception right, of right. the drug you know she, so i'm assuming she's there because someone has some drugs that she's they, doing yeah, yeah they might be doing drugs i mean the fact that he has hiv like uh unless she's also got like he's probably not Bang her, right? I mean, it didn't seem like it. Yeah, but what do I know? I mean, I, it was a. I felt like I went back this area I was in. I felt like I was in a whole nother dimension. Yeah, I'm curious about this. Yeah, I went to a. Is... I went to like a townie festival out there. Ooh, and there was a carny guy. His whole head was burnt off, like nightmare fuel. Oh, and they yeah, had so him like on the no, kids. So no rides. hair. I'm talking face it looked like either a chimp got to him oh it like it looked it was the most significant facial wow debacle i've ever seen in the history of my so life this you went to a carnival yeah oh dude i got put into the fucking depths of hell my friend wow in the most fun way <laughs> <laughs> dude carnies uh he, yeah they put him on the most child the child, the most child-friendly ride. He was nightmare fuel because you, what we did. <laughs> so we didn't know how to get into this carny festival, me and my buddy. So we were like trying to figure out our way in and there was like a little gap where the Ferris wheel was. 
So I come around this Ferris wheel, and the first thing I see is this nightmare fuel guy with his whole side of his head. You know, like Two Face. <laughs> it's all skin, and the eyelid is apps. It's like retracted back. Oh wow! And you remember that Terminator Two? Yeah. It's like that, but his skin, and then oh, one man. part of it was like a mohawk, but not on purpose. You know, this yeah. is where his hair can still grow. And he looked at, and his lip was burnt, so his teeth, like his teeth, were above the lip. And he looked at me with the crazy eye. I thought I was gonna. I actually kind of liked how terrifying it was. Do you know, yeah, it was like thrilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you could see these kids, and I was thinking, how are, these are pretty tough kids. They must see some shit at home. This must be a real fucking low life area for them to just go on this ride without this guy phasing them. That's wild. I would have had nightmares about this dude. But like, it was it, it gave me a thrill seeing him. It's almost like part of the whole experience. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's almost like it's almost like you walked past a place where you were supposed to check a ticket, and it was like, "Come on, come on the scary children's ride." I like the, the head carties are like, "Okay, so where do we put burn victim Jim?" I say we put burn victim Jim with the kids to give him a you know give him a thrill, and they got like a whole entrance, but you like came oh, around. Yeah. Oh, you, dude. you, you it was like a haunted. Yeah, you missed it. It was like a haunted house entrance, and you just like, oh, I came around a Ferris he wheel. Put his fucking, it was like thriller. He put his arm on my shoulder. I would have hit him. I would have hit him. And then I told my my buddies. So my buddies. Uh, so was he? Let me ask you. Was he talking? Did you hear him talk? I mean, he had to be. I didn't see but you him didn't, talk. You didn't hear I was his too. Voice. I was. I was close enough to see him, but it was so loud uh, that I couldn't hear him talk. Yeah, uh, it was so loud. Oh man, man. But he. He was. If he had like he a was crazy, in kind of a shadow. They like, put him. It was kind of shadowy where he was. Dude, this sounds like a whole oh, haunted dude. ride. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah. Uh. I don't know why they're not marketing this guy. They should put him on a poster <laughs> out there. But like, do the censor. <laughs> So like one of like, those big tarps with his face so on it. So did you see, how, how old were the kids that you saw there? Did you see oh, teenagers? Oh, he was young as four. Four years old. Wow. Like almost my son's age. Did you see teenagers around there? Well, you yeah, you imagine, but they like, weren't around. Stone teenagers around that guy? I think uh, whoever, I mean, maybe Philly, but you know. You ever see like just a crazy, like just. I feel like he would scare the shit yeah, out of a teenager. Dude, he would, if I was like stoned or like tripping, and I saw a dude like oh. that. Oh, I would uh that's what I was saying. So my buddy was baked. Uh-huh. And he didn't see him. Uh-huh. Because he was like looking at the fucking Ferris wheel. And I go, hey man, you gotta go back and see that that guy. His whole face is burnt off. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, you gotta walk back behind the and he he <laughs> there's a beer tent, right? <laughs> you gotta buy tickets to get beer. Uh-huh. And the lady sees him from New York, so she gives me extra you can only get beer. So she gives me extra tickets. So him and I are like, fuck, man, I don't really like beer, but it's free beer. Yeah, right. So we were, I lined up about four Oktoberfests with him, and we're drinking them. Mm -hmm. And that's where he's like, I can't, I can't wait. I got to go see this burn victim. And I, I told him where he was at. He's gone for like 15, 20 minutes. I'm by myself in this beer tent. I don't know anybody there. I'm just talking to these townies, right? Yeah. And he comes back. His face is like, hey, you saw him? He's yeah. Like, fuck, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They fucked me up. I came around the, the duck thing. <laughs> <laughs> if you shoot the ducks, <laughs> they fuck me up, man. <laughs> like a Stephen King novel, dude. <laughs> he comes back and they're like, then all of a sudden it's like his face starts melting a little bit. <laughs> it's like, dude, you got like a gypsy curse on you now, bro. <laughs> it was so fuck. It was like I. It just started that way too. Like I got into town and my boy Sally D. This guy's a fucking road dog in Michigan, man. This guy's been doing stand up out there for twenty something years. Mm -hmm. He knows everybody in this like these towns around Detroit. He just knows everyone. He's just fuck Sally D. And unfortunately, like his brother passed away a few months back or like a year a year ago. And uh, I stayed with him the first night. And <laughs> you know he's telling me about his brother, and I'm like, yeah, that's awful. And then I was like, yeah, so you're gonna sleep down in the basement. <laughs> It's like the same bed his brother died in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so oh. that first night. Wait a second. Was I'm this thinking, after the, the fucking was, horror show? Well, no, I found that out that right when I got into town and then I went to the, <laughs> then I saw the fucking burn victim guy. So now you're sleeping, now you're sleeping in, the, in, in the, that guy's the, bed. Oh, uh, just, with that, oh man. <laughs> I, was just, I was just laying in bed looking at the, looking at the ceiling, just waiting to be haunted. Oh, dude. If you had heard that guy like a cackle laugh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like if he had I'm like glad a, I didn't hear his if laugh. If he had like a cackle laugh, dude, then would have you, Yeah, you would have been ruined. Oh, and it was yeah. like a, one of those old school times. Because I could see you like smoking a little bit before you go to bed or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. I was, I, oh, yeah, yeah. I was beyond just, baked when I went to bed. You just I thought that. I was going to, I was trying to smoke myself into like a retardation that I wouldn't <laughs> even be available. Right. Like the mental capacity wouldn't be able to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was, I was too fucked up. You know what's so funny to me about a guy like that? Like you see a guy like that, especially like a carny. I'm either going to be like just it's going to fuck me up or it, we're going to be best friends. You know what I mean? I me wanted, and this guy, I'm going to bring I him home. I want to know the story, so I'm, I want to <laughs> Like, I'm going to bring him home. You know what I mean? <laughs> For Christmas? <laughs> no, it's like, we're going to hang out. He's going to, yeah, come on in. My, yeah, my see, wife's I organize asleep. all this shit yeah. right here, man. You see this? She doesn't appreciate <laughs> shit. Look at all this Go wake her up. <laughs> Dude, my, that's, that's how I know, like, I've talked about this before with Lauren. Mm-hmm. She would, uh, mm -hmm. she gets scared to the core. Like she oh. would get like scarred, scared. Uh huh. And if if I were to say, like, if we if I did bring that guy home in the middle of the night, yeah. And I said, hey, just for shits, man, why don't you just go hover over her bed? Oh, that's she would die. Yeah. She would like divorce me. Yeah, she would yeah, divorce yeah. me. Hover she would have a heart attack. Hover over the bed. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, too far. <laughs> that's crazy. Now that's nuts. That is like nuts. Cause like I got or scared. He, he just, I just got scared. <laughs> <laughs> he just over with that one big eye over. Dude, I brought when I was living in Philly. I used to I used to fucking smoke rocks out in this park, like right next to my house. And there was a homeless guy in there. And I would get he would get me. He would go and score. And you know, oh, I would oh share why would you? Uh, oh, just so you didn't have to be front and center on that, or. Why would you let the homeless guy buy it? Well, homeless guys, they have better connections than uh, like a white kid from the suburbs. Oh, you know what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. It's the reason. Yes. There's a reason they're homeless. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> they, they they're know, in with the right crowd. They know homeless. they know where to get the good drugs. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so but so he and I would and it was only sometimes, you know, what even I mean? then you're like an entrepreneur. Like, hey, I'd give you a taste if you just go and find yeah, we'll me split the best. It. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Go, I mean, it was always the. Yeah, yeah that's like an unspoken, I buy you fly. Yeah, exactly. Baby. Totally. Yeah. Right. So um, we would sit in the park, and then one night I was like, uh, hey, let's go in my place. So I bring, I brought this homeless dude into my like home. from Maltesanti. <laughs> <laughs> He's good people, Adriana. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Bro, he got real comfortable, man. He got Isn't real weird how that works, real comfortable. Those people? Uh, he was like, dude, yeah, this is nice. Putting feet up, taking the shoes off. Oh, on the couch. You know oh. what, though? It's like, you pro he probably sees that couch, and he's like, Man, been a minute since I've been on one of these, yep. right? It's oh, like, for sure, let's dude. go for a ride. I don't blame him. Yeah. Because uh, I wasn't, I didn't like say, take. you know, I didn't, there was no rules. I mean, we're smoking crack yeah, together. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> what are you doing? Get your shoes off before <laughs> my house. Try to smoke crack here, pal. Hey, don't put your feet Respect on the table. Respect my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't put your dirty, stinky, <laughs> shit ridden, piss ridden clothes on this couch. Come on, yeah, hit, me. I, there hit was, me. There was no, right, yeah, right. There was no rules, but he got real comfortable, man. And I remember thinking, like, uh, after a while, you know, like, you know, you're sitting there, you're high, and you're just like, yeah. I'm going to have to get this guy out of here soon. You know, like, I don't know how. Oh, you're probably going to have to throw him out the window. We had, a, it was a, uh, it was like a, uh, it was like trying to get like a, like a, like, like, a, like, a, like an animal a, out of like here. A like a dog. Like, yeah, it was like throwing, like, like, throwing crack rocks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> And the stink that he, the stink he must leave in that house. You know, I don't know. I don't know that how bad he was. I don't think he was that. He wasn't that far along in the, the homeless evolution. I don't think he was like a piss yourself kind of guy. You know what I mean? Not all homeless they guys. They all become that they, in the winter, especially. Yeah. Because you got to wear all your shit, and you just piss in it because you can't. No one will let you piss. I guess that's what I, happens with these guys. They just get too lazy to have to f find a place where they can take I think a piss. They, I think those are guys. Those guys are blackout drunks. Do so you think the piss guys are the I, blackout drunks I think and the crackheads are just the unclean? Drug guys, are, they're just having showers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're not, six they're, months they're just or not, whatever. They probably don't wipe well because, like you said, they're shitting on the side of the road. Kind that, of thing. all that, yeah, yeah. But, like, the piss guys, I think the piss guys pass out. Okay. Because as, as, as someone who used to piss himself. It was more about the alcohol. <laughs> yeah, it was. I Blacking all, out. Yeah, it would black out. I would just <laughs> piss myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ruined so many couches, dude. Oh, I mean, it's so, dude. I told you that. Then people used to drag me outside. No, you never told me this. Oh, I never talked to him about it? I had a buddy who used to piss a lot when he blacked out, and we used to put him in the bathtub. Yeah, they used to call me Wetty Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Where 
was this? You never talked about that? No. You never talked through about high school, through college? <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, high school, college. Yeah, yeah. It's like my thirties, my forties. <laughs> hey, last month. Hey, Weddy Eddie. <laughs> I can't wait for us to be in some shit old town in Philly. Like, is that you, Weddy Eddie? No, Weddy Eddie. <laughs> Weddy Eddie. <Eddie. laughs> <Weddy Eddie. laughs> Don't let. I remember this girl I used to see, and she had a boyfriend. Like, they were open, right? And I remember her being on the phone with him once when we were out, and she was like, do not let blah, 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 blah. Like, she was going in on this guy. And I'm like, hey, what's the problem? She goes, oh, he wants one of his friends to stay at our place, and he pisses the couch every time he comes over. So you're that guy. That was me, for sure. Not every time, but like it was. There was good odds. I mean, you could you can pinpoint you, you, the you, night. You could pick. You could put house money on it. You'd be like, oh, Eddie's it's like pissing. when Fuller and Home Alone, and like, go easy on the bed. Pe- Eddie, go easy on the Captain Morgan. You're gonna wet the bed. <laughs> I don't want to sleep on the hideaway bed with the Weddy Eddie, dude. He's I, gonna piss all over me. I I woke. I came home. I was out the night before Easter. Uh, I was out drinking with my friends, and I come home middle of the night, and I don't make it up to my room, and I just pass out on the couch. At my mom's. I'm at my mom's house, and I'm In there, boy. Black out, just piss. The and like whole, the biggest piss you the ever biggest had. Biggest piss. Lake Michigan piss. Yeah, dude. And I just and I'm laying there and. It's Easter morning. You know, I'm... And they're going to get up. They're going to have a coffee. They're going to cook 19, a beautiful my, meal. My brother is probably... means My brother's probably like 14. He's up five years older than him. He's like 14, maybe 15. You know, my sister... And like, you know, it's Easter morning. All the baskets yeah. are out. Yeah, it's Easter like a bun- beautiful, yeah. beautiful moment in the family. And I just wake up to my mom going, you just don't care at all. Even in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> love how you are so comfortable with letting your family down like the way you tell those stories like you're you're back there and i can just see your face like (laughs) (laughs) like like that eddie like that ed Ed mcgowan face like wait a minute (laughs) (laughs) who am i letting down Just asinine and obstinate. Just a, like, what do you what do you mean? I'm like, I, I'll clean it up. I'll clean oh, yeah, it up. So I'll, I'll clean it up. I'm gonna clean it up. It's not a big deal. I'll clean it up. This piss. It lingers for the whole time we own the house. Dude, it's gonna linger forever. It's soaked through like the, it was like through the cushion. Oh yeah. yeah. My son has peed on a couch. We've had to get it professionally cleaned because it's like it doesn't go away. Yeah. You got to like get it professional, like one of those $200 jobbies where you suck all the grit out of it. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, um, and you got to clean it quick too. Yeah. Like it has that's, to be yeah, within yeah. 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. I, um, you can't just, I used to just flip the cushion over when I, I was did, a kid. I did that at a, the, I Man, was we da- wrecked my grandparents' house. Boy. I was dating a very wealthy girl. <laughs> and we went out. We were staying in a Four Seasons. We came up to New York for a party, <laughs> for a like a thing. And I pissed on a Four Seasons king size <laughs> mattress. You're some fucking heiress. <laughs> and this is an era where your teeth were all chipped. Yeah, I had a broken teeth. I had broken teeth. And what I was he just, had you with the broken teeth. <laughs> and she, I, she woke up. She's like, I can't. Because you, could, especially if it's alcohol, you could uh, smell it. Oh, it's just the oh, smell. Oh God. So then I'm just like I'm, I'm got the hair dryer out. Oh yeah, to dry yeah that's gonna work. And then I just flip the mattress. Hey, and like worked back in Philly. Checked out. <laughs> Should work at the Four Seasons. <laughs> you know what's so great? Those rich guys are are the worst too. You know they're just they're just ruining better hotels. I'm sure many of a rich man has pissed his pants oh, in yeah. a Four Seasons. Sure, a lot has been done. Up sure, there. I mean if I'm doing hey, it. a lot of great men have pissed their pants <laughs> in a Four Seasons. Good for you, Ed. <laughs> Finally, scrolling for the working man. Scrolling for the working man, everyone. Piss his pants. Weddy Eddie. That, I, Weddy Eddie. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. Man, you really got a great history. Uh, great is a big word, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, extensive. I got a lot of history. I got a lot of history, I would <laughs> say. The, the annals of your life. <laughs> <laughs> the canon, if you will, of Ed McGowan. <laughs> Dude. I, uh. Piss the bed? What's that? Did you ever piss the bed? Yeah, dude. I well, the reasons why I pissed the bed were sad though. It's like uh, when you get your ass beat as a kid. Oh. Yeah, I used to piss my bed all the time when I was a kid. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. My ass beat. Huh. 
Yeah, like, it yeah, it's like a tra- it's like a trauma thing. Trauma thing. Yeah, wow. And then like w- then when you get made fun of for it, like the shame part of it, yeah, like when right. adults are making fun of you for it, like my my mom would tell like her family and they would make fun of me. Like <sighs> my uncles would like Brutal. bust my balls. Brutal. Oh, it was awful, dude. Brutal. I once pissed my bed. Uh, tr- my trauma piss. The last one I did, I was twelve, and I, my brother and I were staying with my grandparents. And we had to share a bed, and he was asleep. And I had pissed the bed. I was so embarrassed. I was like, I, just, I woke him up. I'm like, hey, don't roll over, man. I, sp- I spill water on yeah. this. It's always I spill water. Yeah, yeah, He's like, you fucking pissed the bed, man, right? <laughs> like nine. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> I buddy of mine was, uh, he was with this girl and he fucking got, he was a fucking mess of a drunk too. And he told me, he goes, yeah, I fucking pissed the bed in her apartment. He's staying in her apartment, sleeping over, it, and they hook up, right? And he pisses the bed. And then he wakes up before she's up, and he goes, he gra- he has like a big glass of water, and he goes, he, goes, he wakes, kind of wakes her up, and he goes, oh! <laughs> <laughs> he like, makes it like a fake spill, like he makes spills and everything. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the guy who holds the cakes at Sesame Street. Oh! <laughs> he told me she looked at him like he was a fucking lunatic, oh, like a yeah. crazy person. Yeah. Like, dude, I know you pissed my bed. What do you do? You really think this is a fucking uh, Dude, when cover? you're an addict, you are the stupidest <laughs> motherfucker alive. Like, in my height of alcoholism, oh I probably God. pissed a bed. I pissed a bed once for sure. And one time I pissed on the floor, thinking it was a bathroom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that shit is so embarrassing. So embarrassing. Because, like, especially when it's your, like, your partner, dude. Like, some pretty girl in the morning all mad at you, like, what the fuck? Like, you just feel like such a loser. Yeah. It's one of the lowest moments. That and, like, throwing up in your sleep on the couch. Like, just being a drunk is, like, the worst thing you can be. Yeah, yeah, I don't I hate that I'm a, a drunk. I hate it. Getting up and pissing in a in, in a place that's not the bathroom. I don't know that I've ever done that. That's you know kind of- you know what happened to me is that I used to just be a drinker. Uh-huh. That's all I would do is drink. Uh-huh. So yeah, I could drink all day, all night. Right. And then when I stopped power drinking, I started to do more weed. And then I would combine like then I would have one night out where I think I was still a power drinker, mm-hmm. and then I would come home before that last drink metabolized and I would smoke so much weed and that would make me puke and that would make me do blackout bl- shit, bl- like stupid oh, blackout yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So gotcha. the combination- Oh, of, so that's a blackout thing. Yeah, because I, I never blacked out. I was like an umbrella stand is the bathroom or something yeah, like that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you know, I, I never blacked out. That's why it took me so long to get my drinking in order because I was never, I could remember everything and right. you know, I, I would make dumb decisions, but overall I wasn't like, I remember it all. Right. Uh, but once I started blacking out, and the worst part about blacking out is the text you send to people. Oh. I'm like, what is going on, dude? Oh, dude. It's the dumbest thing in the world. Being a drunk is such a fucking liability. Bro, in the 90s, it wasn't text. It was like- The phone call. Phone calls. Yeah. Dude, I remember waking up at my buddy's place, and the phone is next to me, his cordless phone, and I was just like- I'm his, like, His Sports Illustrated <laughs> football phone? <laughs> Exactly, and I'm like, yo, get this fucking phone away from yeah, me, dude. dude. He goes, cut uh, the cord. Seriously. He goes, oh shit, should we start at 69? So you called? I was like, no, dude, I don't want to know who I Thank called. Thank God, though, it was in the 90s and not now, where people could save that shit. I, yeah, yeah. I've sent some wild shit to people, just mad over no, crazy shit or not nonsensical. I mean, it, it just not a good look. Yeah, I don't think I ever had. I don't think I had like the crazy tech stuff. I can't help myself. I'm an idiot. I used to call people though. That was my thing. But back back then, I uh, and it all comes out when you're drunk, like what you're really sad about. That's the problem. Is like it's the reason why I'm getting drunk is because I'm sad about something I can't either admit or I don't know yet. But it always comes out when you're drunk. Oh, it's always like a loneliness or a some. What? Why did this happen to me? And it's translated into like you fucking don't even fucking care about me anymore. It used to be. Uh, it just it's so weird. Like especially through your twenties. And into my 30s, it uh-huh. was just very apparent. It just got more and more severe. It got from really fun to just so severe. I had, I would do things, now I'm remembering some of the phone calls I would make, and they would just be stories. <laughs> they would be like coke-fueled 
me but just telling is, telling a story. At least you have your capacity when you're coke. And up. I'm just running with it. I remember calling somebody and singing Metallica's Motorhead. <laughs> <laughs> just on G. Just, just just press play and then just singing it into the phone. <laughs> And then I remember him, I remember, and then after, you know, it's a three minute song, and he goes, <laughs> It's all three minutes. <laughs> I did the whole song, and he goes, and he just didn't say anything. He goes, Bro, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to get back to bed, dude. <laughs> I got to work in the morning. <laughs> I used to go to work the next day after some of those, and I don't know how I did it. To uh, just wake up and have to. And yeah. the worst thing is, it's not like I would work jobs where, you know, like a mechanic where you can go disappear in some dark corner and work on the car. I'm around people who are like bright-eyed and bushy-tailed yeah, yeah, like right. come to work with because they use their brain at work yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't fuck with their brain because they make their money that way so they come in fresh yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're expecting you to be fresh and i was not it's just fresh. such a sideways thing where somebody's oh. like you look at somebody and you're like oh dude you're high from last night still like i was always out yeah. i was always hung over yeah, yeah, or yeah. still drunk like yeah. in the morning it was definitely yeah. still drunk yeah <laughs> i remember that one girl at a job i had she got drunk at the party and I didn't know. I, I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot anymore, but I, I'm definitely a recovering idiot. But back then, it was like any – if you were remotely attractive and you were going to give me attention, at, even at the job, even though if I knew if it was like a bad idea, but if you were going to give me some attention and made me feel like I was a cute boy, I was all over it. I'd risk it all just for the feeling of oh, being sure. wanted. And this girl at the party, she was chatting me up, and she was like – it's weird when you're when you're a power drinker and you don't come off like one like if you didn't know me in the beginning of hanging out with me while we were drinking you would just keep getting drinks with me thinking because i'm not showing it you know you know how when you're a true alcoholic yeah, yeah. you don't really see me drunk until i'm like 10th in mm -hmm. then i mm -hmm. like you can kind of see me a little like the eyes are a little different and she was trying to keep up with me and she got really drunk and you know i put her in a uber or we all did you know because we were there with other people and she was flirting with me a lot, like openly. And mm -hmm. I thought, man, she this is great. I yeah, can't yeah. wait to see her tomorrow at work. We were on the same elevator. You could tell she'd probably thrown up three times. Oh, yeah. And was just like, I was like, hey. Like, I was still uh, in work mode yeah, from the yeah, night before. Totally. Uh, I was probably still drunk from yeah. the night before. Oh, dude. You should <laughs> ride that. In the morning on the 9 a.m. elevator, like, how you doing? Well, if you didn't black out or then like go do drugs or anything like that, and you just were drinking and then went it's home, right to sleep, and I wake up with my clothes on, I'm out the door. It's a success. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Like I'm out the door. I'm, I've yeah, done I this successfully. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. I'm like, hey, we were out, right? It, she ignored me and then literally got another job. Not not because of me, but like the whole time between then, she left the company very soon after. And I, it didn't occur to me until then how much people care about their jobs. Like now I care about my job like that. Oh, where right. I now I wouldn't want to make a mistake like that. Right. Where right, 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 right. cuz even though she got lucky with me cuz I was already kind of a fuck up that it wasn't like a, it was with me. It wasn't with some like higher up. Uh -huh. But still, I could see how now someone would be like my my play in that moment should have just been like it never happened. I should have said good morning. Oh. And she probably would have appreciated that a lot more. Right. Than me trying to carry over that yeah. feeling from the drunk night right. into the work morning. Totally, one hundred percent. I was trying to finish that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the morning. <laughs> oh well, you're just like you're, you're I'm still. Like, Let's go. You're I'm still, still there. Oh man, yeah. I'm sky high. Two weeks later, you're just like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. oh. And then yeah. when she, I, it always takes me forever because I'm so direct and stupid that it takes me forever to realize that someone's trying to like subtly put the door up, like shut the door. Yeah, right. Like, I'm like well, you ain't shut the door for? Come on, the time. Like, it's not forceful, but I'm just, I'm always really, it's like a puppy who's like you do playing have, in front of the you door. You totally have that, dude. Yeah, yeah for <laughs> and sure. And they like, shut I've, the door on me. Like, I've seen oh, it. man. I, where were we the one uh, gig and, and you were just like, you, we're, in the morning you were like, and you're just coming at me with all these plans and I was like, hey, bro, yeah, I, I haven't had a coffee yet, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> My my energy is a oh, uh, thing to marvel at. Oh, bro, yeah. I was like, whoa, yeah, uh, that's so fucking funny. Yeah, with, yeah. My uh, intensity is is something I've had to like manage, right? Yeah, in the workplace especially, because it comes before therapy, and literally the first five years of therapy, it was it was manic. In fact, I thought it was bipolar. Oh, right. But then when I realized, like, once therapy kind of broke open a lot of the stuff I was working with it started to become a lot clearer what those episodes were about so I can manage them better without like lithium. 
I have like a taste of that. Like I get real excited and I and I ruin things. Uh, yeah, it's with like my the excitement. Lenny complex, yeah. the bunnies, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Or like the what's that Chris Farley when he's like, uh, I get sucked in my yeah, little yeah, pet yeah, yeah, and, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, and I little smash pet. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I bet ha- Zachy Peanuts' his ears just rang. <laughs> Can you imagine? He's like, what? He's eating some sausage sandwich at 8 a.m. in Seattle. <laughs> oh, man. He just, and he just starts. Chris Farley. <laughs> half a grit in his mouth. Chris Farley. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. Bro, Zachy, if you're hearing this, dude, your fantasy draft. <laughs> He, Fa- we all have a fantasy league together, and Zachy Peanuts' is fantasy team. <laughs> we have to have him on. Dude, he went second? It. He was he second had the in draft? greatest slot. He went second. God, his team. And anyone that knows fantasy, if you have the second pick, that means that three different times, I think, mathematically, maybe four during the draft, you have picks within two picks of each other. Meaning you could get two bangers yeah. for the price of one. And I looked, I'm playing him this week. You know what he got? He got two kickers. He got, <laughs> so he got two defenses and two kickers for the price of one. <laughs> he got them early, too. He went yeah, he smart. Went fourth, fifth round, he started picking those guys up. <laughs> I want to get myself a kicker before they get all scooped up. <laughs> oh, I think there's a Serbian guy kicking it uh, for the Rams right now. <laughs> like, do pick them on their skill sets, not what, not who they endorse. I like his last name. I like the look of his last name. <laughs> uh, oh, I like that name. I'm picking this guy. Uh, he fucking kills me, dude. That yeah. what was that text thread? I don't want to talk too much about Zach, but what was that text thread? He goes, he goes, yeah, I could probably get us a block of rooms. Oh and, yeah, yeah, I got, yeah, we kept the lights on. I keep the lights. My family keeps the lights on at Harris <laughs> and Caesars. Two Vegas casinos. You're paying the electric bill for two Vegas casinos. <laughs> That's my favorite. And I was like around all those kind of dudes for my. I was in Detroit. Gigs were great. Thanks, Detroit. Always a lovely time. I was around a lot of those kind of like Zachy Peanuts dudes and I just it's like I love getting my dose oh, yeah. and I love leaving. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, get yeah, my yeah, dose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I I could never be twenty four seven with those dudes, but I love them for three days. It's like a great I, it's it depends how and well you know the dudes like Zachy I could I could sit and listen to him make those crazy statements yeah 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 oh, all yeah. Day that's long. what I mean though like just you know Zach because I, mean? like, I have a buddy out there who's my, like that and he has like a surrounding group of guys that I don't really know that you well can call bullshit on it it's so yes, fun it's, it's as long fun. as they're not like uh, I agree they, some, some, some guys, guys believe in their shit yeah and they're and like, they're not self aware yeah yeah, yeah, dude, yeah it's like uh, you're taking all the fun out of this. <laughs> like you could be a big yeah. blow. And you, you take yourself this biggest... seriously. You're... <laughs> yeah, I mean, like it's like a, blow, a, guy a big blowhard you... is fun if he knows if he's you a blowhard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But together, it's not fun yeah. if I have to like entertain his yeah. neuroses. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't want to entertain your nonsense. <laughs> yeah, fucking narcissist. I mean, yeah, it's, <laughs> those dudes are the most braggadocious too. What do you mean? The, those uh, like. Guys who aren't aware, those blue collar dudes who aren't self aware. Oh, those guys. That they're just... like the guys that uh, balding, fat. Yeah, she has to lose a few pounds. Are you? Are you? Yeah. Oh, right. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Like you know, she was looking at me. I saw her looking at me, and I walked over, and she acted like she wasn't. Can you believe? <laughs> Every story, it's like yeah. All over me, but it didn't work out because she's a bitch. Like everything's like yeah. someone else's deal. It's like it's like so bitter. It's like there's no laugh at the end of it. It's such a weird fucking thing. Like to not have like it be funny. And it, it's always and yeah, you know. And that guy, can you believe this local reporter? Gosh, she's 25 years old. Piece of ass coming into my house to interview me. Can you believe? Like everything. <laughs> what? But what's this in reference to? We weren't talking about anything related to this. He just, like just rant. Like just throw it out on the table for everyone to chew on. What are you saying, you fucking crazy motherfucker? <laughs> Can you believe just 20? You are a 60 year old, <laughs> overweight, under hygiene yeah. motherfucker, bro. <laughs> Broke motherfucker. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Can you believe this? <laughs> she couldn't have weighed more than 110 pounds. Like, what do I care about her weight? She's not a prize fighter. <laughs> what do I care about her weight? These guys in the weight, they love when they. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. was 110 pounds of brick shit house. <laughs> 
shut up. You haven't ever fought. These guys haven't sniffed a 10. They wouldn't know a 10. Mm -mm. A 10 of a human. They wouldn't even know. Oh, legs for days. Oh, you couldn't believe. It's always like in a past life, too. Oh, this I was banging this bra one time, and uh, I met her in the hallway of a, of a hotel I was staying in for a work trip. I, just shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> it's got such Everyone's a... Everyone's on a work trip. <laughs> shut up. I, I mean, I remember being this FedEx guy. Was, uh, I would see him in the elevator, and, you know, very attractive young girls would be in the ad agency uh, elevator, and, yeah. like... You know. They'd probably pay him to ride that elevator. He, <laughs> but like every time we're in the elevator, I'm like, I'm going up two more floors, and he's on. He, you know, he's got that. He's got something to say as soon as she leaves of course. the elevator. I'm like, I'm like, all right, man, I, I, you shut up. There's a fucking. It's an elevator ride. Yeah, dude, you're, shut you're the holding fuck me up. hostage. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm like, oh, you gonna put the, you gonna put your arm out and finish this little anecdote that you have yeah. about a pretty woman? Yeah. from Costa Rica. This prostitute. Go. That you just, <laughs> Go. Just get away from me, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. Oh, dude, the worst. And then when they and they do it in settings where sometimes it's so hard for me not to go in on a stranger that I'm forced to be around. And in comedy, we're forced to be around a lot of strangers we don't know with very odd antisocial personalities. Yeah, that's that true. Like think after, they're being you mean funny. like after the gig. Yeah, just even yeah. on the on the road, especially because you know there's always like one or two guys that might roll through a club that you've never met but end up coming out with you after because they you know whatever it's yep. comedians they pop they they, they come around each the other circle, right if you're trying right. To, yeah. exactly yeah. and like the guys were like messing with the waitress thinking they're being charming and I want to go listen dude she has a job to do yeah. you're not charming yeah. the reason why she hasn't walked away is because she has to take our order it's like these guys think yeah. they're there for god she's loving it she's not loving it dude She's she's just, stop with the fucking sh jokes. She's just doing her job. Man. God, yeah, yeah, yeah. can we get her to get the fucking menus? Because you're <laughs> shut up. So I, Anna, what do you mean? Oh, you see? Can you believe I gotta put these glasses on to read this menu, Anna? Just shut up. Uh, shut up. That is so cringy. I'm so uncomfortable just hearing. And it. I'm like, uh, yeah. And now, I'm, and I'm with you, which automatically makes me look like a, a douchebag. Oh, that you're part he of can this. Because the guy, those kind of guys, they're expected to do that. Right. And now I'm associated with this guy yeah. who's doing that. Yep. Now I'm a part of this group. And now I'm the douchey guy with the polo shirt on and the nice shoes in this group, which makes me worse than them. And you're kind of like trying to smile it along I'm to just finish trying it. To get just, it get, going. Just, just get so this done. So I look done. complicit. Yeah, yeah. Now you look, you look like you're part of it. Yep. Fuck. Yep. I have a friend. Fuck. I just ran into her. Uh, we have uh, we met through uh, dogs, and uh, we've become really good friends. Uh, but she's fucking nuts. She does a thing where she has she interjects with strangers all the time. Oh, uh, and I call her out on it. I go, "What are you doing?" She goes, "I don't know. I can't stop." <laughs> <laughs> See, I respect that though. She she has yeah. she has some. I won't go out with you anymore. She, but she, I she does these you. things where it's like she just starts. She'll oh, are these for me? And like as two people just walking by, and I'm like, "What are you doing? What's wrong with you?" She goes, "I don't know. Man. I can't. I can't help myself." <laughs> At least she knows it though. Yeah, yeah. She. I mean, she's a good person, but yeah, she just has this. People like, have that. That's yeah, fine. It's this weird. But thing. to not know it and then to hold people hostage and then act like they're rude. Yeah. I can't. I felt like I was around. Yeah, right. Because a guy like, like that. that, like if she just walks away and doesn't like smile back, uh, she, 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 she I don't hate even. That. She don't even. They don't yeah. even smile anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. You just force my hand, bro. Yes, yeah. so you're. And you've done this your whole life yep. to people who are forced to deal with you. That way, you can always figure out to get something out of the interaction to go your way. This is what you have to do. It's such a weird to feel thing. wanted. Yeah, is you have to force people. To eat your shit. Yeah, it's such a fucking... Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Anyways, I'll be in one of these towns <laughs> coming up. Uh, <laughs> you feel like if you buy tickets to my show, uh, do what you got to do, all right? right? Come, on say, <laughs> come up and say, uh, hey, you know what? You know what? I'll tell you what. We got, we got shows on the road. Come up and talk to Josh afterwards. This is, this is kind of his favorite thing. It's when people come up to him. They tell him how funny they are. <laughs> Don't tell me how funny you are. <laughs> We're going to be at Tapped Apple with the Working Class Holes yes. Tour this Saturday, 8 p.m. So make sure you buy your tickets. They are going fast. Uh, and go go to joshcaro.com for 
all future dates. We have a stacked lineup for the rest of the year. It's going to be hot. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Ed McGowan Comedy. Go to edmcgowan.com to see my city dates. Email us at Working Class Comedians if you want to tell us anything. If you've ever <laughs> we'll take any email. <laughs> if you've ever been in a carnival and gotten scared, uh, you know any of the things. If you hold people hostage with your bad humor, uh, write us uh, an email and we'll uh, read it on the air. All right, we'll see you guys again next week. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. YouTube. All you got to do is type in working class holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.